Tacoma News presents Genetic Engineering. Chinese scientists create GMO super dogs. A group of Chinese scientists say they are the first researchers to have used a breakthrough gene editing technology to successfully double the muscle mass of dogs. For this new research, the scientists used 65 beagle dog embryos, focusing in on genes encoded for myostatin, a protein that inhibits muscle growth. By injecting the enzyme complex CRISPR-Cas9 into the embryos, the objective was to knock out the myostatin genes in the dog's DNA. With myostatin out of the way, the beagle's muscles can grow to new extremes. The scientists report two of the pups born showed disruptions in their myostatin genes, a boy they named Hercules and a girl they named Tian Go. Creating more muscular and athletic dogs, this achievement could pump out some freakishly powerful canines for police and the military. This isn't the first time Chinese researchers have applied science to genetically modify animals. They've previously used gene editing techniques on goats, rabbits, rats, monkeys, and even fertilized human embryos. While the scientists say this particular study was undertaken to learn more about gene modification for human medicine, we can only imagine what other Frankenstein's they might cook up in their lab. Bruce Banner, eat your heart out. Chinese scientists modify genes of human embryos. Scientists worldwide have renewed calls for a halt to controversial human embryo research after a team of Chinese scientists published a paper on the genetic editing of human embryos. Researchers at Sun Yat-sen University in Guangzhou, China, hope to modify a gene in chromosome 11 responsible for beta thalassemia, a genetic mutation that reduces production of hemoglobin and results in a lack of oxygen in the body. The embryos used in the research each had an extra set of chromosomes after being fertilized by two sperms, meaning they could not result in a live birth. The research involved injecting the embryos with the enzyme complex CRISPR-Cas9, which splices DNA at specific locations. Researchers can then modify the gene causing beta thalassemia by programming the enzyme complex to target that specific gene. Of the 86 embryos injected with the enzyme, only 71 survived the initial 48-hour period needed for CRISPR to replace the DNA. Of the 54 embryos that were tested, researchers found that only 28 had successfully spliced, with a fraction of those 28 containing the replacement genetic material. The research team found a surprising number of mutations cropped up as a result of the CRISPR-Cas9 complex acting on parts of the genome other than the target area. Critics say the procedure could produce unknown effects on future generations as all modifications would be inheritable. Designer babies may soon be possible. A team of researchers at Oregon Health and Science University have successfully performed the first known attempt to create genetically modified human embryos. Gene editing using CRISPR technology is capable of finding a target DNA sequence and replacing it with a desired sequence. Once injected, the guide RNA in the CRISPR-Cas9 system seeks out the target DNA before the Cas9 enzyme binds and cuts it. The void in the DNA strand is then filled with the desired sequence. CRISPR technology theoretically makes it possible to modify the genomes of any living thing on Earth. Researchers in China have previously conducted trials using CRISPR technology in cancer patients, but the results revealed a major problem. The technique can cause unwanted mutations in other parts of a DNA sequence. However, the Portland team is confident that it is possible to avoid such errors. New controversial study may lead to genetically modified humans. Britain's Human Fertilization and Embryology Authority has approved a study that may one day lead to designer babies but that's not the plan right now. Dr. Kathy Niekan, a molecular biologist at the Francis Crick Institute in London, will lead the genetic experiment. The study will use fertilized eggs that are donated by couples with the hopes of better understanding fertility problems. 
Researchers will use a new genome editing procedure called CRISPR-Case9 to turn genes on or off. This process uses specially programmed RNA to cut and remove snippets of faulty DNA to be replaced with healthy DNA. The embryos will be monitored over the course of seven days as they grow from a single cell to about 250 cells. Critics say this could be the first step toward genetically modified humans. Dr. Niakon told The Guardian, it's up to society to decide what is acceptable. Science will merely inform what may be possible. Genes can help find time of death. Post-death gene activity may one day be a new area for forensic specialists to explore. A study from Spain has found that gene activity in dead bodies can point to the time of death. It found post-death activity in the brain and spleen to show little change. However, they also discovered post-mortem fluctuations across 600 muscle genes. The research was done via an algorithm that looked at samples from 399 people. The program attempted to tell the times of death for 129. In blood samples, it found that DNA production, immune response, and metabolism declined 6 hours after death. Most gene activity was found to occur between 7 and 14 hours after loss of life. If developed further, their approach could one day be used as a criminal investigation tool. Meet the eye motif. Aussie scientists just found something new, cool, and rather obscure about our genetic blueprint. Research published in the journal Nature Chemistry details a new type of DNA structure named the eye motif. Here's the knot-like structure again. What's interesting about it is how it's built. Normal DNA is made up of bases coded as letters. These are adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. These all bind to another letter except in the eye motif where they don't. Normally, cytosine binds to guanine and vice versa, but in the new structure, cytosine was found to pair with cytosine. And that has researchers puzzled as to what that means, but they do have some ideas. According to The Independent, scientists reckon the new structure may be partly responsible for reading DNA and turning them into useful substances. Gizmodo reports they may act as a sort of switch for controlling gene expression, but could mean nothing at all. The Independent reports that the structure has been cited previously, but this is the first time researchers have found it inside living cells. One thing's for sure, our bodies are a whole lot more complicated than we realize. Genes behind fatal heart condition identified. Pulmonary arterial hypertension is a nasty disease that affects around 6,500 people in the UK. Researchers say they have identified genes that are responsible for a fatal heart condition that can only be cured by heart and lung transplants. Pulmonary arterial hypertension, PAH, kills half of those with the condition within five years, but little was known about its cause. PAH causes the arteries carrying blood from the heart to the lungs to harden and thicken, eventually leading to heart failure. Researchers analyzed the genomes of more than 1,000 PAH patients and found that mutations in five genes were responsible for the disease. In people suffering from PAH, these five genes fail to produce the proteins that are needed for the structure, function, and regulation of the body's tissues. Now that the genes have been identified, the next step will be to develop new ways to treat the condition. How to edit genetics without changing DNA. Scientific brilliance coming out of the MIT Harvard Broad Institute may one day better the lives of millions. DNA directs protein on how to build cells via RNA. A new study, published in the journal Science, details how DNA instructions can be chemically altered via edits to information in the RNA. The DNA remains unchanged, while proteins build cells based on the edited instructions. The method is not ready for human trials, but could one day help those suffering from degenerative diseases. Gene-edited bacon? Scientists have successfully made pigs resistant to a deadly animal virus by editing their genes. Porcine Reproductive and Respiratory Syndrome, or PRRS, causes breathing problems and death in young pigs and stillborns in infected sows. To address this, University of Edinburgh researchers used gene editing to remove a small section of the pig's CD163 receptor, which the PRRS virus attaches to. They then exposed the gene-edited pigs to the virus and found that the animals did not become infected. 
Scientists say the genetic edit is permanent, meaning the pig's resistance to the disease will be passed down through natural breeding. The Edinburgh team stressed that unlike genetic modification, which is highly controversial, no foreign genes are added in during the editing process. But with no regulations in place, it may take years before the technology can be applied to commercially raised swines. So that GE bacon might have to wait. A novel gene therapy developed by Oxford researchers may restore vision to patients with a previously incurable form of blindness. Choridermia is a rare genetic disease in which photoreceptors in the retina and underlying vascular layer, known as a choride, degenerate. Degeneration of the retina and choride begins during childhood and develops into blindness in old age. Choridermia is caused by a defective CHM gene. In the gene therapy, a functional copy of the gene is inserted into a virus vector. The vector is then used to deliver the gene to the degenerating photoreceptors in the retina. Six of the nine patients enrolled in the therapy trial have reported improved vision six months following treatment. While this technique cannot regenerate cells that have already been destroyed, it can restore normal functioning to defective cells.